Hey there, Keto Squad. Uh, today's little update is going to be short and sweet. Like me. <laughs> because today was a Saturday, and when he's home, it's like we got so much stuff we try to plow through. And uh, I completely forgot to, you know, film anything. Uh, we went and saw Zombieland 2 Double Tap. If you watched the first one, I was worried. <sighs> I think zombies have been done to death by now. Um, so I was like, I'll go see it because you want to go see it. I, I, I laughed. I laughed a lot. It was very good. It poked fun at itself, loved nicely. And I'm sorry, a lot of people don't like him, but I love just, you know, Lex Luthor. Just go with that. You know what I mean. If you watch and you know Aaron Eisenberg. Wait, that's Nog. You know who I mean. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we also went and picked up stuff to make salsa because my husband makes the most awesome salsa on the face of the planet. So we picked up, you know, habaneros and jalapenos and serranos and all that stuff. And the store we got them from happened to have these energy drinks, which he had seen at the a and PM here locally, but they were like almost three bucks a can, so he hadn't picked any up yet. These were $2 on sale. So peach mango... Watermelon. Now, these are pretty much, you know, everyone's getting on the bandwagon. No carbs, etc., etc. Oh, two servings per. I drank it all. Okay. You know, the whole natural caffeine, etc. Now, if you like Jolly Ranchers, and you know, you can get sugar free Jolly Ranchers, they're very good too. Um, my husband bought the watermelon one. It does, it tastes bang on. Bang on like a Jolly Rancher. Unfortunately, with our taste buds change the way they have, this sugar-free thing is too sweet for him in watermelon. Peach mango, really good peach mango flavoring. I mean, I was thoroughly impressed. Some artificial peach flavors come off like dust ball, mothball-y. This did not. This was actually very good. I would buy it again. Now, remembering that I have also tried one called C4, which I'm sure some of us have seen, at least in Walmart. It tastes decent. I only tried the purple one, I think it was. However, it is made as a pre-workout drink primarily, so it has really high niacin. What does that mean to anyone who doesn't do pre-workout stuff? You tingle. You tingle for a long time. Your arms, your extremities, tingle. So it's not something I would drink all the time. Um, but yeah. But these were good. Uh, I've also tried the, the ones Hype. I think I have pictures somewhere. I'll have to... Do I have a picture? I'll have to look. Anyway. But Hype, I've bought it at the vitamin shop. It didn't taste very good. I wasn't a fan. I mean, the energy drinks from the dollar store tasted better than that one did. But enough about that. Speaking of dollar store, while we were on our hunt for... Speaking of which. You know. The, the tomato part of what will be the salsa. This was 99 cents store. 99 cents for that big old can. Anyway. Um, they had this whippy stuff for 99 cents. Now, before you go bananas, regard A, one carb, which means that for our sugar-free jello, we can put a little of that on there for a lovely little treat. Although, let's be honest, our whole lot of just right into the mouth is probably going to happen. And that sounds a lot more ruder than I intended. Also in the mail today... Hey, look up. I'm actually getting something done. Uh, we had picked up a box of orange soda zip fizz because we both love this flavor very, very much. And I'm quite happy with the sample flavor inside. I've had it before. It's very good. Um, Food-wise today, I will be honest. I partook of the popcorn at the movie theater because we don't go that often when we do. We have the popcorn. Yeah, we regret it, but you know what? It's worth it. And we get the, you know, the powder uh, to put on there. And we also use that. I've used that same powder on plain pork rinds when I just want a little bit of flavor of something. Works quite well. Um, and then we went and picked up the enter in a code to win a free Xbox boxes from Taco Bell and treated his folks to dinner, basically. So once again, I ate the inside of a big chalupa shell and taco. Had This time I remembered to get extra lettuce and cheese and guac on my chalupa thing. So it was pretty good. <sighs> Back to that heartburn conversation. I ended up with heartburn today, but I think it was from the, the taco meat, to be brutally honest, from Taco Bell. And uh, also being brutally honest, I think we're Taco Belled out. I think if he wants to get more 
codes, but probably just buy the box and give it to his parents to eat. I have one kitty who seems to think that she needs more food than what she's already been given. She's our official old lady cat. I am rambling because I drank the better part of that this evening. <laughs> because it was just a long day. But a good day. I mean, we got some stuff accomplished. We got more to get done today, but the least of which is making the salsa. So I think I'm going to actually probably, when I make some food just now, scramble up a couple eggs. And get some videos going. So that's it for Ketober. End of day 26. And I will see you for day 27, Keto Squad. Blessed be.